You know, they're headbanging so much in the video, it's, it's a wonder that they can play the guitar at all. <laughs> I'm so surprised they can keep it. That's why they have the strap around there, it's not to help carry it, so, you? so they can actually keep it in their hands. Shit. Fucking so doing the worm. Hmm. How you doing, guys? I've got a drink, I've got food. We're ready to survive. Just a couple of days on the long dark. Please let it be survival this time round. Well, Mr. Renegade, you're in luck. We're doing a little bit of the old survival that we picked up. Or, oh, well, yeah, that we started a couple of days ago. So, let's uh, see where we are. That's it. I can load the game. I'm vaguely prepared this time, so we might even be able to just click play. And load the game up. But we're going to let Back in Black finish. You, you'll be the only people that actually get to see the Back in Black intro here, because... There is no doubt in my mind that this won't get copyright striked. So you'll you'll get anybody that was early enough to hear it, it's it's gonna be redlined at the start of the VOD. No doubt about it. There's a new di difficulty, Velox. Okay, interesting. You're tired as what hell, Theorem? How come? I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to try to make an effort to read the chat a little bit more. That's something that I don't do, or I, I should do. I should do a lot more, but I don't. It's. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do it. Um, <laughs> we'll see how long it keeps for. So yeah, how you doing, guys? Says, says, take a seat. Can I sit on your lap? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, so, oh, let's throw those over there and settle in. We've got the main light on, which means I'm being cooked under a small sun, being halogen bulbs. Oh, God, there's some Thunderstruck on. No, we're going to load the game. As much as we like Thunderstruck, we're going to load the game. And I also do this thing where I get, like, really close to the mic and then really far away. I'm going to tuck the chair into the desk. I'm going to try not to move quite as much. We're going to sit it, we're going to strap in, and we're going to play pretty casually, keeping the microphone a solid 20 to 30 centimeters from your mouth. That's the best distance for it. And if you hear a lot of, that's because I've got a, a drink with me, and it's it's a very it's a salivating drink. So, we'll, uh, we'll get into the long dark. Let's change the transition slides to studio mode. Let's set our transition panel as the long dark, and let's transition us in. Very smooth, smoother than usual. Something's going to have to break, otherwise this won't be a won't be a class cube extreme, I'm afraid. Overlays loaded. We reset the counter to zero there, although the latest follower remains the same, so that will get an accurate number of how many people follow in this stream. Not expecting a lot, but hey, here it is. All right. So let's just have a quick look there. Somebody in the chat, I've forgotten your name, has just told me that there is a new difficulty mode on the long dark. So let's have a quick look at that and see exactly what's going on. A little bit loud as ever. Uh, well, it's loud for me. I don't know why this is, but it's a lot louder for me than it is for you. Like, it's really loud for me. Or, may or maybe I'm just used to quiet games. No idea. So, uh, if we go to story mode, or sandbox mode, sorry, and then we go to a new sandbox, there's a new difficulty mode. Interloper. Oh my god. You are not part of Mother Nature's plan, and you will bear the full force of her wrath, the true test of human versus nature. For expert players looking for the ultimate wilderness survival challenge, you start with the most minimal resources and have to craft everything you need to survive. The world has become hostile. The world becomes more hostile the longer you survive. Allows for two active feats. What's active feats? Does that mean, like, hot and cold and things like that? Should we should we give this a go? What do we think? It will get progressively harder the longer you survive. What do we do, then? I'll give, it, I'll give us a choice here. We can either go for the most nitty-gritty, hardcore survival game that you've, uh, you've seen. I've got no... Like, I thought Voyager here. Or Stalker, sorry. I thought this was hard. Um, so, I mean, this is going to be mad, Interloper. Um, does this mean there's no resources everywhere? You have to craft and kill everything yourself? Because if that's the case, that is going to be so fucking difficult. So what do, you, what do you reckon? Do we do it? In repent later? Yeah, it seems to be that we've... A lot of requests. Okay, yeah, fine. Do we still have hands? I hope so. Hmm. 
And hello to the three people that just joined ship. Welcome to the club. Right, so, interloper difficulty. I don't know what we're going to expect from this. Slay Quebec, that's right. Let's confirm. Let's go as, as a mun. And let's call it... Dead. Deady. Deady. Deady dead dead. Right. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down in the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Press any key to continue. Do the Siet do the Vietnamese sound effect. No, he's not. Is he here? Borg. There he is. I don't know why. It doesn't sound like that. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. Carl Sagan said that. Right. What do we have in terms of equipment? Fucking nothing. We start with nothing? Right. So we've washed up. But let's let's create a backstory for ourselves. We've washed up on the edge of a lake after our ship went down. We're going to head for the lighthouse. Jesus Christ, that is really bad. I'm getting close to the mic again. I'll try and stop it. So a bit of a bit of like lore, if you like. We, we've washed up offshore after our fishing boat went down in a Canadian in the sort of the is it the Atlantic? I don't know. Some sort of some cold ocean somewhere. The little island we've discovered. A deer's frozen to death. We got a dead guy here. Find the booger, the shit. Jesus Christ! The blizzard, the wind rolling in here. A couple of crow feathers. So we've washed up. But a frozen cut. God, you can see through that guy's arm. Christ above. Okay. All of that. We've got a dead deer here. Nothing we can do with a dead deer. Let's just grab some sticks and some more of these feathers. Ravaged carcass and it's frozen solid. Right, let's press on. We'll go for the lighthouse. That's the only visual beacon we've got and then we'll sort of assess the situation. Very pretty. I've not played this section of map before, believe it or not. Um, it's dropped us here. I have no idea where we are. I've never played this level. I've only ever, I've, There are only two sections of this map I've ever... God, that's so loud. I think I'm going to keep it loud, though. Um, I think that adds a lot to the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the crow feathers don't give a fuck about the wind. Alright. I see you made it out of the cave. No, Miz, this is a new game mode. It's cut... It's not a game mode, sorry. There's a new difficulty. There was the first one, the easiest one, and then there was Voyager, which was medium, and then there was Stalker, which was hard. They've added one above Stalker called Interloper, where we literally start with nothing. We, we started with the clothes on our back, and that's it. Well, there's a little ship there. We'll explore the little ship in a little bit. I want to try and get to this lighthouse if I can. See if there's a way inside. I can't feel my feet. Oh God! I'm gonna start freezing to death pretty soon, but I'm trying to save energy. Looks like we need to get up and around here. Like I say, I've never played this level before. Like this, there's a, there's different stages to the map, if you like. Um, so you progress to the next area and so on and so on and so on. I've never played on this difficulty. I've never done it before. Wait. Let's grab some wood. I'm so cold. I'm up again. Oh god. That is blisteringly cold. Gotta try and make it indoors as best we can. Hello, Ryhack. There's the bridge. Try and get in out of this wind. What the fuck was that? Was that a wolf? No one said anything about wolves. God, it's cold. Hopefully this bridge holds. There's a deer down there, so there is at least wildlife. 
keep going. Oh my god! King Midas and the, and the gentleman or lady before you, thank you very much. Why walk is incoming. Right, we've nearly made it to the safety of the lighthouse. Relative safety of the lighthouse. Right. So we sort of stumble through the door after being washed up on the coast. No real context or anything for us here. We get inside. Fat lot of nothing in here. We're just going to have to hope that it's warm. And no, it feels like minus two. We're still freezing to death. Cedar wood. I don't have anything to start a fire with. No tinder. No starter. We're going to need to check the drawers for equipment. Maybe some warmer clothes. Anything. Check the cabinet. Decent wool hat and decent work boots. Let's get those on. Slightly better for warmth and a decent wool hat. Let's try and warm up. It feels like zero degrees. Let's see if there's anything warmer still. A chocolate bar. No, nope, that's fine. Draw. The idea with this game mode is that supplies are meant to be really few and far between. Like, it's meant to be a real struggle for survival. As hard as it would be if you just sort of naturally washed up here. Let's head to the next floor up. Anything in here? Right, we can sleep to get warm. It will add five, so if we just sleep for a few hours just to get warm again. There we go. So, it feels like zero degrees in here. We're cold, but we've warmed up a tiny bit. Right, what have we got? An emergency stim. That's actually a very good find. I've never found an emergency stim in the old save that we have. Book. We've got a way to light fire. So, like I say, yeah, we've washed up in our tiny little... Well, we've washed up in a little boat offshore, and we've just sort of woken up in... Well, we survived one hell, and then wake up in another. Only this this hell's a little bit more permanent. So we've got crates and pallets, wood, lockers, all of them but one are open. Hopefully the lighthouse keeper left some equipment for us. Fucking nothing. We've still got nothing to make a fire with. Oh, it's very dark. Just leave lighthouse through the roof. We've got cloth here. No light sources in adventure. Let's just sort of climb our way up then. See if there's anything on the roof. Wow, fucking hell. Oh god, hello. What the fuck is that? Must be an owl somewhere up here. Right, let's uh, take stock of what we've got. Home base. Looks like we've got a wolf down there. Crossing the ice there. And we've got a road. Like I say, I know nothing about this level. I don't know how close stuff is, how far away stuff is. Looks like we've got some houses down there. We have to get back inside. We've obviously got that small shipwreck that we should probably investigate. But apart from that, I don't think we've got anything else up here. Nothing. Not a soul. Let's get back into the safety of the lighthouse then. Relative warmth. Oh god. Get a sock and put it on your cock so it doesn't get frostbite. Better. <laughs> There's worse ideas. So, the hardest difficulty mode that they've ever introduced. Like, literally, all out, just fucking, just, just savagery, mate. So, I guess there's no real waiting for it. We should, uh... Well, we should try and... Grab, like... We could try... Just try and get warm. Just for an hour. I oh, know, but we've only got an hour of daylight. We can't really stay here. As much as I'd like to, we've got no food. And no water. But I do need to get warm. I need to sleep for an hour, and then move out when it's slightly darker. Or when we're slightly warmer, whichever comes first. Oh, I'm not tired enough. Could pass the time. Pass the time in bed. Jack off for a few hours. There we go. Right, we've lost the <laughs> we've lost the light, so it's fucking so, well, it is now or never. We can't stay bogged down in here forever. Nothing in the cabinet. There's nothing else we can use. We'll see what the temperature's like when we leave. 
minus 18. Jeez, what is that? It's only minus 7 in the uh, when we're in wind protection. So let's try and keep against the rocks. Now it is going to be cold, but we've got no choice. Got to fight. We did. Oh, we did find some dog food, didn't we? But we got no drink and no way to light a fire to melt snow. So our best bet is for the village that we saw just down the coast. Looks like there's a building up there. Is that rooftops? Can't can't tell. We're walking against the wind. Get the impression we're the first people to walk here in a very long time. Look, there's a, it's almost like a church up there. Let's press for the church then. Goddamn freezing. The risk of fire. There's a wolf somewhere. Oh god. Let's just press on. Oh god, there's wolves all around here. Let's just try and push through here. This looks like a small trail. Hopefully this will take us to where we need to go. The wolves are mad to be out in this weather. Right, let's try and get up here as quickly as we can. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought that was something then. Anything up here? Yes, I was right. So this is the way. Church. How do we get in? It doesn't look like it has any windows. Oh, it's just a ruin look. A stone church. Way in? Oh, there's a hole in the fence. Let's get inside then as best as it lets us. Holy shit, what a fucking mess this is. I got the book, try and follow this guy. Oh, it's just a ruin, there's no... It's not taking us... There's no protection in here. There's a fire barrel, but we can't get it started. Newsprint will take a light at least. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But well, we can't afford to stay here then. If there's nothing for us, we gotta go. Arse. We're well, back to the original plan then. Push to the village. Cut down these rocks here, be a little bit quicker. Car. Let's try and loot this really quickly. We're at risk of hypothermia, but no old oh, wolf right there. Oh shit. If he comes for us, we'll just peg it. Trunk's locked. Let's get in the car. Feels like minus three in here. Taking a lot of the wind chill off us. Anything behind the visors? No. Get out, get to the front seat. Anything. Anything. Nothing in the footwell. Anything in the glove box. Fuck all. Nothing in the car. Right, we need to push back then. Need to try and go as best we can. Less time we spend in this rain, or the, be the rest, the less time we spend in this wind, the better. I need to save my stamina for actually running away from something important, though. God, this is fucking brutal. We've got nothing to light a fire with. We're running out of thirst. All we've got is a tin of dog food to our name. Pushing across the bridge, and whatever's fucking chirping like that, I got no idea. Oh, look at that. Wow. Very nice. What does this sign say? Logging. Oh, look at this. Looks like a little fishing hut or something. I've got no idea what this is. Better try and get down there, though. Looks like there's a way around on the right.
Oh dear. Quebec is going docking. <laughs> that steam screenshot. It's a good screenshot. It's not swim time. Gotta keep going. This looks like something. Got a small, like, what, security office here? Well, it needs a security office, whatever this place is. Let's see if the security office has got anything for us. Right, oh, in and out of the wind. For the minute. What do we got? Medical box, first aid. Got, got a sewing kit, that'll do. I'll take a sewing kit. Can I... Fuck. Did he see us? I don't know whether he saw us. Oh fuck, there's two. Shit. Ah! Fuck me! Punch him in the face! Fuck it! Oh, fuck me, he's bit the hand! Oh, punch him back! Oh my god. Punch him back! Fucking hell. Holy shit. Right, fuck me! Right, gotta get to warmth and quickly. I got nothing. Fuck. No, fuck, we got. Right, just press on. Try and go. Oh, fuck, we're not gonna make it. Not why we blit. Right, okay. Get into the car, make a bandage. If we can. It's right. A bit. Right, fucking. Right, what can we do? Uh, uh fucking. Ca no, not camp craft. Uh, what's the thing? Crafting. Bandage. Oh, I died from blood loss. Fantastic. It took too long to craft, craft a bat. That is fucking brutal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, we got mauled by that wolf in no time flat. Jesus. I was clicking as fast as I could, but we were t with no weapons or anything like that, and only jeans. The, the wolf wins. The wolf has sharp teeth. We don't. Holy shit. That's, fucking, that's really fucking difficult. Look, I don't know whether... We could, ha we could probably do loads of very short sessions of that, but in terms of one that's a little bit longer, hey-ho. So yeah, there you go, that's a little taste of that that difficulty. And we'll go back to what we were playing originally, which was the... either. Well, yeah, I'll leave us with a choice then. Um, we're currently uh, just a little way into a run on a survival mode challenge with Big Blue, um, or we can play our standard uh, sandbox survival mode, in which we're currently on day 73, 22 hours. So yeah, fucking... Yeah, nature one, zero me. My screaming is scarier than the wolves. No, the wolves are scarier. Did I scream that much in Monstrum? Maybe. <laughs> we cannot we cannot confirm or deny whether there was that much screaming in Monstrum. God, that was fucking terrifying. I didn't know where the wolf was, and then he just pounced, and it was like, oh my god. No thanks. Orchie wants us to play Sandbox. A few people want to do Big Blue. Big, big Blue was so good. Sandbox, big blue, big blue. Go for the hundred days. Big blue. Seems to be lots of big blue coming through today. So yeah, looks like we go with big blue then. Back. Challenges. Day two. The Hunted Part 1 with Big Blue. Man Man <laughs> was our character's name, yeah I remember. We're in the Pleasant Valley at the Crossroads House. So... For anybody that's just joining us, Big Blue has actually tracked us down here. Um, he's uh, He's got our number. We've got hands. So uh, nice to see a return of the hands there. We can kind of just double check to make sure that I didn't miss anything. But uh, yeah, for the moment... Does anybody know if there's a hotkey to put your hands away? Because I don't know if there is. Can I, like, put the matches down? No? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe there is. Nothing sort of on the tops of anything. We do have an emergency stim, should we need to use it. Yeah, I think I got everything out of here, didn't I? Didn't leave anything. So Big Blue knows where we're at. This is the bad thing. Big Blue knows exactly where we are. We can grab a couple of pieces of cloth. That's only going to take six minutes. All right. Let's see then. Right. Got to dance with Big Blue again. Leave the house. Where is he?
Not waiting. I'm not going to wait out. Not going to wait around to find out. Big Blue's stalking us, but I don't know exactly where he is. He's got our scent, and he won't lose it. We have to kill him. Big Blue's been doing this for a while. He's been hunting the likes of anything. And once he gets a taste of what he wants, he doesn't stop hunting till he's got it. Lighter accelerant. That's going to be very helpful. Because sometimes you just need to make fire quickly. And lighter accelerant is the way to do it. Not much else in here, I'm afraid. How are we doing for firewood? Burnables. Loads of firewood. In fact, probably too much. It's weighing us down quite a bit. But this will do nicely. It will do nicely. Alright. Only way to kill Big Blue is with the hunter's rifle. Uh, that's exactly right, uh, Fluttershy. That's, yeah, exactly right. Okay. Now, the only way to repel Big Blue is with these flare rounds that I've got in the flare gun. Not the flare itself, but the flare rounds. Just get in the car for a moment. Where? I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. That's got to be him. Can you hear that? Where is he? Where is he? That's got to be him. There's no doubt that that's him. There? I don't know. There he is. You can see the arrows in him. Don't. Move. Don't. Fucking move. turn the camera all the way around. Where did he go? Oh, a granola bar there. Wasn't total waste. Ugh. It's minus 12 in this car. We're slowly freezing to death. go. We can make a break for the house. I don't know how close he is. He could be right next to us and I wouldn't know. If he catches us on 72% life, he's fucking... He's in the back seat, yeah. <laughs> he sounds really close still. Oh, why can't I just turn all the way, all the way around? Where is he? He's on top of the car. He's camping at the back of the car, perhaps. Turn the radio on. Don't think we got any gas. And I don't think cars run on kerosene. Or lighter accelerant, for that matter. Right. We've just got to make a break for the house there. We've got to go round the dune, and then in through that door. Right. Oh, it sounds really close. Right, what have we got, food and drink wise? Can we stay the night? We can. We'll be alright for one night. Can't I look all the way around? Most nerve wracking thing. I'm trying to determine which side of the car he's on, left or right. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. Don't panic. Left. He's on the left side of the car somewhere. Right. Bolt it. Where the fuck? Oh, he's gone up the hill. Right, let's just get back inside and warm up. He's gone up the hill. That's fine. Right, warm up. And we'll probably... We'll make a little fire. We'll make a little fire. If we can. 
do we have the facilities to make a little fire in here? No? Okay, then we'll fucking... We'll have it coal. <laughs> I don't care. We just need to fucking eat and drink. Let's eat. The jerky didn't, don't count for much. But it's something. We'll crack open these sardines as well that have gone a little bit off. Then we'll... Then we'll rest for a couple of hours. Try and get our... When I say a couple, I mean like five. Let's sleep on that. And see how we do. Alright. The bear was preventing you from looking all of the way around. It was just holding a, like, a, like a ghetto barber. Just like, turn your head. There you go. Keep it forward. Right. We've got to go keep our flare gun out in case he's waiting. We've got to try and sneak away down the road. Oh no, he's instantly clocked us. What a, what a dingbat. Can't get away from him, not while he's stalking. Let's listen. Will he have come up to the door? That's my concern. Oh, he's camping the house. Okay, don't panic if he's right outside. Okay, pot, pots and pans clacking behind us. These cattails are pretty good. I should take these with me. Right, quickly grab them and let's keep going. Oh. Where is he, though? Where's the bear? Where are you, Big Blue? Let's stick with the phone lines. Let's try and keep some distance on old Big Blue. Wolf. Left. I can deal with a wolf running, but not really. Oh, there's another house there. Look, another couple of houses. Right, we should definitely loot those. We shouldn't give them a miss. Hopefully we've taken a wide enough circle that Big Blue doesn't know that we're coming around this way. Where are you, Big Blue? Where are you? He's never just gone, and he never quits. So where is he? Oh, I don't like it. Get into the house quickly. Right. If we're quick, we might still be able to give him the runaround. If we just loot this place and go. Mittens. I think I can use this. Barely windproof, warmer than gloves, better than nothing. <laughs> well, we can use them for cloth, if, even if they are crap. Uh, there we go, speak of the devil. Some cloth, never hurt anyone. Some of that. More cloth. Don't need the wood. Let's see. Press into the back of this house. Just like that. Make him a big blue t-shirt. No chance. No chance at all. Right. Coffee. Good. A bit of a pick-me-up in the morning. All the same for that. Locked, locked, and open. No pry... I don't think we have a pry bar. Do we have a... No pry bar. Right. Uh, what have we got in here? Water purification tablets. Ah, it's a little general store. Nice. Just whatever's left on the shelves is ours, I guess. Anything in the register? I'm not sure what I'd find in there that would be helpful. Sewing kit, that's fine. And a couple of cans of drink. Orange soda. Got some lemon soda here. It's lemonade. Uh, don't call it soda. It's, it's wrong. Right, uh, anything up here? No, probably not. Can't see anything on the top shelf. No, okay. Got some dog food there. Pork and beans. Decent little food haul here. Not bad, not bad at all. Like I say, though, we can't stay here. We need to keep moving. If we, if fucking the bear lets us.
just check. He's followed our scent. Let's check the letterbox. Down over there. Right, let's go around over this way. Let's try and lose him. Let's get up here. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Don't see me. I don't know what I'll do if he sees me. Right. Let's hook around. Let's get up here. Try and avoid him. To the best of our ability. Where are you, Big Blue? Where are you? Try and break line of sight with him. There we go. Jump down on this side. Watch your ankles down here. Take it steady. There we go. There we go. Right, hopefully... We'll have thrown him off a bit there. Let's keep moving. We could press further into the woods. It's all open ground out there. The weather's not terrible. We are thirsty and we are hungry though. I think while we've got some good weather we could explore just up here for the minute. Maybe lose Big Blue in the woods for a, for a bit longer. Some logging has happened there. Cut down trees. I wonder if there's a site or something up there. There's a dead deer. Might be a bear cave. Bear cave. You see that there? There's a cave up there. But is it the cave I want? This could this could even be the way to the trapper's homestead. I don't know. We have to investigate it. We have to. This could this could be the cave that takes us to the next area. This could be the one. We have to explore it as a result. Let's grab some reshi mushrooms. What's that noise? The rabbits. It's okay. Is this the cave I'm after or is this just a bear cave? With the frozen deer I'd say it's a bear cave but I've been wrong before. No, this... No, this is, this is a cave but is it the cave? No, it's just a cave. It's got some supplies in it, but not many. Plastic, sir. Yeah, plastic container. Don't need a scrap metal. It's heavy. It weighs us down. Book. Bedroll. We'll take it with us just for cloth. And some fir wood. There we go. Right, okay. Not the cave I was looking for. But still a cave. Right, let's try and keep ahead of Big Blue. Get some high ground here. Big blue is stream sniping, yeah, fucking hell. Alright, let's keep going. I'ma find your ass. Big blue the bear in chat, there he is. <laughs> okay. God, he's never gone and he never quits. Where is he? There's a trail there. Small cutout in the snow. We should follow it. We will follow it. It's not the one with the phone lines either. Some place to escape this cold. You'll be alright for the minute. You'll be alright for as long as I say that you'll be alright. You hear me? <laughs> you'll be fine. And have a granola bar for your troubles. It's a known fact that bears don't like granola. Maybe. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, where is he? We kind of... Our scent's over in that direction, so we... Ooh, fuck! Did 
Did I scare anyone else? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my heart. Jesus Christ. Don't sprain your ankle like that, you retard. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> right. Big blue? No sign of him. Perfect. Right, let's press on. We should, okay. <laughs> Just change. Stop screaming. No, we can't stop screaming. Shit's scary, man. The fuck was that? I have no idea. I have no idea what just sprained our ankle then. If memory serves me right, and believe it, it's it's not it's an, it, it works against me my memory, but it's uh think. yeah it's we're in trouble <laughs> we are. Oh, there's some shit down there. Little picnic area and a wolf eating a rabbit. Let's stay on the road. No point fighting with these guys yet. Oh my god, the golden capper. Hey, there's something. I don't know what kind of time we're making on Big Blue. He's quite slow. He got that for us. I think I think I think Big Blue only really catches up if he's actively chasing us or if we like stop in a building for an extended period of time. Apart from that, I think we can keep ahead of him. I need to get to the trapper's homestead and I need to get there quickly. But it's going to be difficult because uh, the trapper's homestead. I, I don't really know how to get there. Not really. Like the first challenge is going to be finding the place that we get back to. Like as in finding how we get back to the trapper's homestead. I'm fairly sure it's off in this sort of direction, but I don't know. I've never been there before. Like, I've never been out of this map. There's a corpse here. But whose corpse is it? There's a cabin. We should keep our eyes peeled. It might be off sort of over here somewhere that we get out. Small sort of construction site. Somebody was planning on building a house. Probably got pretty badly fucked, if I'm honest. Looks like it's a small picnic... Sorry, like a picnic shed. Oh, we got that. Oh, there's like a small fisherman. I've never seen this before. Energy bar. I've never seen this place. Oh, there's a corpse. Tell me you have something good on your chap. Got to be new thermal underwear. Is that better than the ones we're wearing? Yes, it is. Considerably, right. I need to check out this little fishing hut here, out on the uh, the little light. I don't imagine there'd be a massive amount of fish in here, but hey, if there is, there is, right? And then we'll get back to skirt. Quite a few wolves out that way. Let's just double check this. Oh, we can sort of close ourselves in if we need to. Energy bar, cardboard matches, fishing line. I'm hoping to get some tools out of this, some hardware, maybe a hatchet. A hatchet would be nice. Shut ourselves in. Could do some fishing. Potentially. I don't have any bait for the fishing line. Let's try and keep ahead of, let's try and keep ahead of Bear. Don't growl your stomach at me. we got to go. Right, let's hook this. Now, the area that we're looking for is quite mountainous, so I'm wondering if this here is the right place to sort of be. We're getting we're very cold, though. Freezing, in fact. I should have lit that that stove. Is that the cave just there? That can't be it. It's not by the waterfall, is it? Up here on the right. If we can get up here. There's another cave. Is that the is that the cave or is that a bear cave? I simply don't know. I think this is the right neck of the woods. This could be the one we're after. 
because the Hydra Dam obviously has water running off it, this could be our cave. Like I said, I've never seen that picnic place before. Is this just another bear cave? Oh, it just looks like another bear cave. It's not our cave. Fucking arse bandit. Shit. Fuck. Just when you think you're getting close, it's... Nowhere fucking near. Damn it. You can hear crows. Any dead bodies? Yeah, uh, someone dead here. Something dead here. Anything down here? Something up here on the left, perhaps. Definitely in the right neck of the woods. There's a dead body up here. How did you get up there, friend? Oh, like that. God, that's a bit weird. What's he doing up here? Did he fall off? Oh, you poor fucker. Or maybe this is a trail that I've stumbled across. Oh, hello, this looks promising. Bingo! Found a cave. Do I have a lantern? No. Need to save everything for uh, everything else. Never been here before. Don't know what to expect. Oh, I think this is the place. I think this is how we get back. I do. I genuinely think this is how we get back. I kind of remember this. If this, I think this is the cave that comes by the Hydra Dam. This is it. This is how we get back. This is the cave we came in on in the story mode. Oh, I remember this. This is the way back to the Hydra Dam. Although I don't know how to get back into the Hydra Dam. But this is the way back, alright. Shit in hell. Got some supplies for us. We're numb, tired, thirsty. I don't want to sleep in here, though. It's a bad shout, sleeping in here. <sighs> Flare. Holy shit. Okay, let's eat and drink just what we've got. Just a couple of energy bars to keep us going. Then drink up. Hopefully the energy bars are giving us some, you know, fucking energy. There we go. No, haven't given us any energy, haven't reduced our tiredness. Dead end. <sighs> Means it's this way. Let's press on. This is the way. This is the way back to the dam, but I don't know where to go from the dam. Two ways to so keep going forward. Last thing I want to do is get lost in this cave. It probably all meets around here anyway. Yeah, it looks like it comes out the same way. Light. Two directions. Light at the end of the tunnel. Go, go, go. Is this where we need to be? Where's this brought us out? Leave the cave. This is the right... The Carter Hydra Dam and Environments. Winding River. This is the spot. This is where we need to be, but I don't know how to backtrack. I don't know how to get back to the Hydra Dam, but this is the place. Holy shit, this is the place. Power lines. Let's go in the direction of the power lines. This is the place. And we've made some good time on Big Blue.
got a minute to win it now. Small trail. Looks like it closes back there. It's some frozen gully. Need to rest. Getting very cold again. These power lines. Yep, that's no problem. We'll sort you out in a minute. I just need to get you somewhere safe. Oh, it's a small fording around the rock slide. Dead body. Crows. What's happened? Where are we? Is this the Hydra Dam? <gasps> it's the Hydra Dam! There's a bear cave here. I know it. Never felt so cold in my life. There's the Hydra Dam. That's the right direction. On the opposite side of that Hydra Dam is where we need to be, but I don't know how to get up there. I don't know. Going to need to rest, but I can only afford to get one or two hours in. Another small cave here with some more supplies. This old man's beard stuff is great. Just a bear cave, this one. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Oh dear. New dog food. Right. What we'll do... I don't want to, but we, we're going to have to rest. Ragged wool socks. We're overburdened now, quite considerably, so... Uh, yeah, 29 kg. We need to drop some shit. Probably some of this extra firewood that we're carrying. Get rid of the reclaimed wood. Uh, and a couple of, couple of those. Drop two. There we go. It brings us down to 27. Right. Uh, we just need to rest. Just for a tiny bit. Just to get some strength to keep going. For like... Two hours. Right. We're losing the light. Oh no, no, stop, 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 stop. No, I didn't want to do that again. I wanted to pack it up. Cancel. <laughs> oh shit, no, now we're, now we're moving in darkness and we've given Big Blue an extra two hours to catch up. Pick up. Right, we gotta go. Well, we're better rested at least. Just when we lay down for a bit. Get ahead of Big Blue. Four hours. I've let the bear catch up. Where is he? Bingo. This is a, that's a small track there to the left. I can't remember how we get back up to this place. Because that there is... Like, we can get to there. I know we can get to there, but it's like a fire door. Maybe we have to come in from that side, but I don't remember. I've never been back before. I've only ever left via this way. I've never been back. I've never gone the other way. to try and get ahead of this wall as best we can. Hopefully he's going to get preoccupied with those rabbits. Fuck you. Oh shit. I don't know whether this is the right way. I'm just running. I think this is the one that takes us up to the dam but we can't get in. Or oh, balance yourself across the rock face here. Is he coming? I don't know. Come on. Come on, come on. Right, this takes us... This takes us up to the dam, but I don't think it gets us in. Oh, massive tree falling here. This is, a, this is where we need to be, the Hydra Dam. But we can't get back in here because the door out doesn't have a way in. It's a fire door. Unless there's some other way. 
this is the door you come out at, but you can't get in because it's one way. Lots of scrap metal and not much else. Don't make me go across here. Oh, having to Assassin's Creed this shit. Shit. Don't look down. Do not look down. I've never been this far before, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. If it's anything like previous pedigree. Oh no. It's frozen. Hopefully it's been here a while. Hopefully. A man can hope, right? Backpack, this door's snowed in. Water bottle, that's very helpful. Leave the winding river. We're in! We're into the Hydra Dam. <gasps> yes! And I know that there's no wolf in this section. We can rest. I think. No, we need to get a fire barrel up and. No, right. We're just going to sleep for the moment. We're going to get our strength back. We're going to rest out the night. I don't think Big Blue can get in here. I hope he can't. I should probably get beyond one set of doors. And then I can double back this way and search it afterwards. So I should probably find... Go through the set of doors that are downstairs here at the foot. Check my surrounding area and then go to sleep. Very close. Oh, man. Oh god. Oh, an actual torch. Holy shit. Down yeah, down here will do. It's not beyond a set of doors, but it'll fucking do. I just need to make sure we're secure here. Don't want to fall asleep and have somebody jump in on me. Oh, it's eerie. whole thing groaning under its own weight. Right, so there's no extra set of doors. To come out this far means that we've come as far as we should. See, that's the door that takes you back out to the Hydra Dam. This one here, leave... Okay, we can head a little bit further in then, and then go to sleep. We should be all right. Right, now's as good a time as any. Can we drop this flare? And we used to be able to drop them, but no longer. Let's sleep. Can't make a fire because it's indoors. Let's eat and drink and rest. Candy bars for the moment. That's what we're going to survive on. No real time to open the tins yet. And we'll just have a couple of cans of this stuff. Get it down us. Then we can rest for a full night. Let's go for a full... We'll go for a ten hour rest. Nine hours of darkness, ten hour rest. Let's get our condition back up. So here we are. No, we are dying of thirst, but we're back up to full condition. 99%. Very good news. Right. So. This is our torch. We actually have a torch now. So that means we can forage for supplies back the way we came. Which I think was this side. Pick it up. Let's press on. Side with the workbench, yeah. So we'll, we'll head as far back as we can and then we'll loot everything coming forward. Oh man. Oh god. Right. 
right, so we came through the window there. So we came through this window. Now, past experience has told me that there's a wolf in the dam. I'd rather not find him. Basic boots. Nobody needs this anymore. Decent leather, we're going to take them. Search for supplies, basically. Don't need to use the torch here, it's a waste. Let's just search for equipment. Anything? Fuck all. Search everything out. Not much luck. No. Plastic container. Stale beef jerky. The best kind. Uh, granola bar. More food. I'm all for more food. Anything in the... Oh yes. One tin of... One cup of uh, Hinterland brand coffee. 100% cold. Lovely. Nothing like cold coffee to uh, really get you going. Cloth. Anything in the fridge. Not sure why you need a fridge. Fuel. Lantern fuel. That's good. It means we'll be able to make another torch or, if we need to, anything else. Why hands is blue? Yes, I got no idea. No idea why my hands are blue. They just are. Broken control box. Can't use that. Don't have a hacksaw. Quality tools. I think we've already... Got no, we'll take them with us, but I think we already had some quality tools. Lockers. Any decent winter jackets you've been hoarding in here, lads? Scrap metal, we don't need it. And that's bolted shut. Another couple of lockers. Moldy chocolate bar. Mmm. Just eat around the mold. Cardboard. Tinder plugs, very helpful. Look at all of those, back in the white. Excellent. We don't need wood. Or anything yet, we just need Tinder, really. Not the app. Grow up. <laughs> right. Oh god, now it gets dark again. Let's shed some light on it. There we go. Found a scarf. Old crates. Again, useful for firewood, but not useful right now. Cord of some sort? No, it's just a for that machine. It's not connected anymore. Big old valves, wheelhouses and things like that. And the two... Oh yeah, here we go. Tinder plugs for fires. I don't think we'll need too many, but we'll take just one more box with us. Right, plastic container. And some decent shoe leather of all things. New thin wool sweater. Yeah, getting quite overburdened now. First aid kit. Painkillers, good, that'll make up for our ridiculously sprained ankle earlier. Right, workbench, what do we got? We can make old man's beard, there's torch from reclaimed wood, hook, line, fishing tower, wrap mitts, and all of your survival stuff. Helpful, but not helpful right now. That'll come. Yeah, cardboard matches will do. Right, let's press on. The problem is, I know, I from memory, there's a wolf in the top of this hydro dam, the top section that we're going to be moving through to next. I have no way of defending myself, so I just gotta hope that the developers aren't evil sods and they haven't left him up there. Because in the base game, there is, there's a wolf up there, and he's going to give us a bad time. Now they've certainly armed us with enough cloth to be able to repair our clothes afterwards, but it's killing the wolf. Metal control box. Can't do anything with it. That's the way we don't want to leave the room. Because it means a very long walk back. There we go. Useful. Yeah, there you go. Newsprint roll. Excellent. And a filing cabinet. Oh, Wood matches, sewing kit, all are helpful. Empty locker. Guessed as much. And something with one in. No. Hmm. There you go. What a guess. 2kg over our carry limit. And then we head up the stairs. Now, on the opposite side of this door, there may be a wolf. Oh, we got a storm lantern. Much better. Got our storm lantern. Lovely. He actually carries it in front of him now, like fucking Hagrid. Oh god, I need to check that guy's body. 
Listen for the pitter patter of paws. Listen. Don't hear anything, we might be alright. Let's see. Right. Bandage, antiseptic. Search the body. I could use this. In guys, it's official. Harambe Man 97. Good name. Right. Let's be careful here. Something at the end here. Some supplies in there, another flare never goes amiss. Can't jump through that little window there for some reason, but there is a way round. Save the fuel. Another flare, god they're doing what we're doing well for flares. We're gonna fucking need them though. Like I think I think it's we're either getting lucky with flares, which is more likely what's happening. Or, we're, um, yeah, we're, uh, poor. I think we're just getting lucky for flares, or it's intentionally giving us flares, because I know that moving in the next area is going to be really difficult. As in, do you know how the Pleasant Valley that we were just in, it's like big open space, and there's quite a lot of places to dart around in. The, uh, the next area that we're in now, the when we leave the dam, the, uh, the Mystery Lake area, doesn't have many places to move around in. Like, it's very much lots of corridors, you know, it's more of a maze. Not a maze, but, you know, it's basically, it's a lot more hemmed in. You're basically funneled around by different gullies and cliffs like that, which means you pretty much have two directions, forwards and backwards, to go. There isn't much sort of lateral movement between areas. You have to follow roads all of the way around and things like that. You can't, like, break off the trail halfway, because that's where we need to go next, uh, through that door. Um, but, you know, you can't break off the trail halfway. Did they move the fire barrel? There used to be a fire barrel here. Is this, is that still it? Is that still there? There he is, he's still there, hiding in the corner. I was gonna say, don't don't play with my emotions like that. I'll just move the fire barrel. We're gonna check this other sort of catwalk before we press on. Just make sure I don't miss any supplies. And then after we leave the Hydra Dam, because this is a safe place, I don't I don't think I don't that uh, Big Blue can get in here. I'm hoping he can't, but I'm not sure. All right, let's keep going. Some firewood's been left. Come through the open window in this little snow slide, or maybe someone tried to break in. What's this? <gasps> A fire striker. Come in handy. Fire striker. Sick and twisted fire striker. Lovely. <laughs> it's my best Ozzy Osbourne impression. Pay good money for that. Oh. So fire strikers were good, but I mean we've got so many matches it doesn't really matter. Well, let's uh, let's press on. Put drink down. Aim with hands. That's it. And let's push on into the dam. I've never been this far in this game mode before. Let's get it all lit up. Uh, Rab Sonic, thank you, and to everybody else that's uh, followed as well. Twenty-two new people tonight. Thank you very much for coming. Now, if the wolf's going to be anywhere, he'll be up here. So we get ready. Got our knife with us. We'll stab it in his fucking eyes if we need to. Oh, shit. God, we've packed on some weight. We're literally just a massive board. No, okay, that's the shadow of the lantern. Never mind. Never mind. Looks like the devs have been kind enough to take the wolf out for us. We surely would have found him by now. Still quite dark, but viewable to say the least. Trying to keep hold of this lantern fuel. Another lantern actually so we can be a little, little bit more liberal with this because there's another one. Let's take it with us. 
This one's got less fuel in, so we'll use this one first. And then just leave it behind when it runs out. Fill up the other one. Oh, we got the safe here. I forgot about the safe. Let's let's play the safe mini game. Right. Get ready. Right. Forget how you do this, is it with Yeah, okay. Listen for it. Listen. You'll hear it go. There it is, and back the other way. Listen. Wait for it. There it is, and back one more. Come on. Looks like it's sending us round again. Bingo. We're in. Fantastic. What have you got? Nothing in there! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, what? Asshats. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking all of that. All of that for nothing. Right. Wood matches. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Got this book here. Books are good for starting fires. Got a few drawers. Another book. Clipboard. Can't start a fire with a clipboard, apparently. Right. What else have we got? That there. Oh, yeah. Chat's loving it. Fucking empty safe. My ass. Lovely. Right. Oh, I'm doing that thing again. Need to sit equidistance. Equidistantly from the make. Here we go. Stale granola bar. Let's get lit. Get lit. There we are. Check the first aid kit. Bandage. That's very helpful. There's a crafting station up here, which means we'll be okay. It's quite bright now. Getting into the middle of the day. Oh, looks like we've got a decent jacket here. A marina's pea coat. Heavy wool coat. Should be helpful. Decent wool sweater. Definitely do some crafting. Newsprint roll. We can take stock of our supplies in a moment. I kind of know how to get back to the trapper's, the trapper's cabin from here. Because these two areas are places that I've... I know to great detail. Like I like in the actual campaign, day seventy-two, we're only on the second area. Technically the third, if you count the winding river. Look at all the tinder plugs here. <gasps> Survivor's dream. Check out these lockers. Again, save the lantern a little bit. Just sort of touchy feely our way around. Both are locked. That's a wall. <laughs> Scrap metal, leave it. Not going to be repairing rifles or lanterns or anything like that. We're not going to be playing this level for too, too much longer. There we go. So we're very close to the trapper's homestead. Accelerant and locker. That'll come in handy. Ragged sneakers. You don't fucking need them. Accelerant's good. Now we got these three here. Locked, locked, open. Oh, who keeps scrap metal in their locker? Jesus. Right. So, let's recap. I can't place stuff. Oh no, I can. 
Okay, it's, we've changed the UI for it now. So we can place stuff on the table, even though that's a bit of a wasted lantern fuel, we do have another one, at the very least. Right, so let's start unburdening ourselves with items. So, oh, we should probably turn the lantern off for this. Which is better? Oh, this thing by a long way. Marina's peacoat is much better than the down vest we've been wearing. Uh, we've got a scarf that we're going to put on. We've got boots that aren't shit. That's nice. Always wanted boots that weren't fucking terrible. These socks are a lot better than those socks. Raggedy wool socks. And the mittens aren't quite as good as our ski gloves. No, they are as good as our ski gloves. Not as good in wind chill, but slightly warmer. So we'll, we'll keep the ski gloves on. Everything else, sorry, we're going to pick this up and turn this off. Just so that we don't waste the fuel. We're going to turn the rest of it into cloth. Harvest. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Well, it's going to take. We're going to spend a good amount of time here just getting ourselves sorted. Um, because this is a good time to do it, basically. Uh, boot leather. Harvest the boot leather. Alright. There we go. Harvest this. Getting quite thirsty, that's fine. We've got a fire barrel downstairs that we can melt some snow with. So that shouldn't be okay. But in the event that we can't melt snow, I'll just take a few swigs of the old cans that I've got with us. How many cans have I got left? Only one can, so we're going to have to boil some stuff. Let's have a cup of coffee, even though it's stone fucking cold. There we go. Mmm. Oh, mmm. I imagine <laughs> I imagine he said, how delicious. Cold coffee. Probably so cold it's turned to sludge. You know, ugh. Not worth thinking about. Right, let's harvest these socks. Coffee gives us a little bit of a pick-me-up, even when it's cold. Interesting. Wear the new thin wool sweater that we've got. Harvest the old one. Harvest the old one. The young man said to the elderly person, Harvest the old one. <laughs> right. Harvest this for two cloth. 20 minute job. Hi Quebec from Coventry in the UK. Your voice sounds ex extremely uh, similar to Chris Tarrant. I've been compared to many people. Uh, I've been compared to... Uh, who have I been compared to? So Chris, Chris Tarrant. I've been compared to... Uh, Total Biscuit, no, the ba no. Uh, if, the, if I'm going to quote it properly, the bastard offspring of Stephen Merchant and Total Biscuit. Um, I've also been, I was also been told that I sound like a Terry Wogan. So, <laughs> I don't. Know, it depends on the day, I suppose. Uh, let's harvest this. That's not quite as better as our thin one. No, that's a heavy wool sweater. That's a thin one. Heavy. This one is still better, so we can f fix that one. We can harvest both of these, then. A dead Terry Wogan, yes. Let's wear that. Just keep harvesting them up. In fact, I think we've got enough cloth, actually. We can just drop the rest. Uh, we don't have a hat at the moment, so we'll put that on. And the old pair of socks, we're going to drop like that. Everything else now, we're going to fix. Repair. We've got leather. We got sewing, sewing kits. So try and stitch. No, we've got one more bit of lower, bit one more bit of leather. So try and repair your shoes. Obviously, the shoes are the things that go straight into the snow. So now that they're up to one percent, basic hiking boots, leather upper, rubber sole, excellent. Can't ask for much more than that. Now we should have a shitload of cloth, twenty-seven, and a load of flares, shitload of flares. Oh, we're doing very well. Rifle cleaning kit, quality tools. We're on. We're set. We're looking good. Right. Uh, we've also got a spare sleeping bag, which I was going to rip up, but frankly, we don't need to. We really don't. Uh, we can repair this sleeping bag with two cloth. We've got enough of it. We've got enough cloth. Like seriously, we've got loads of cloth. Too much cloth. Uh, right. So back to the clothing items. Again, we need to just repair stuff. Actions. Repair the gloves. Stitch them up. No, hasn't quite worked. No, repair again. Failed a chance. Did that work? No. And then after this one, yep, I've got to go downstairs and set up a fire. 
So I'll come back for this stuff. Need to melt some snow. Shouldn't take long. Just going to sort of move move around in the dark for the moment. The light at the end of the corridor. There it is. Ominous as fuck, eh? I sound a lot like Jeremy Clarkson. Do I? Jeremy Clarkson? I've never been compared to Jeremy Clarkson before. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson. There you go. Right. Uh, book. Uh, we're going to start it off with a stick. Every fire starts with a stick. Don't want to use our light to accelerate. We're going to use the cattail heads to take the fire. Let's try this. Let's see if it takes. Honestly, this, it sounds like this whole dam is going to come down on top of us. Oh, it's also revealed. The darkness has been revealed. It's like we can see a book and a bit of wood down there on the left. Lovely. Oh, a bit of a stretch. No, no fire for us. Right, try again. Another cattail. Another stick. See if it takes. No, okay, I, apparently I don't sound like Jeremy Clarkson according to the chat, so I'm glad, yeah. I wouldn't have said I sounded like him either. Come on. Come on. Why didn't that work? Let's try a Tinder plug then. Just have to see if it lights. I love the mechanics of this game. I love, like, I don't understand, like, if Hinterland Games, if they did, like, a zombie survival game, they'd have the, the game that we were all waiting for, do you know what I mean? Like, if they did, like, a zombie survival game with the same sort of survival mechanics, yeah, inverted commas. Seem so crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, fucking, yeah, so, oh, do we have fire? We have fire. Right, it's not very much, but we need to chuck... Uh, some reclaimed wood on. There you go. Add a couple of sticks. And add some cedar firewood. There you go. That's a decent fire. Let's just quickly melt half a litre of snow. And then we'll boil it up and then we'll drink it. Oh, I love the fire sound as well. Very crackly. I sound a lot like Jimmy Savile apparently. Clarkson's got a sort of nas nasal sound to him. But he's a bar the higher baritone. Right, okay, bloody hell, we're really getting into the, uh, really getting into the science of it. Right, let's knock that back. That should give me enough to really sort of boil some water. There you go. Right, banged up pinnacle peaches, banged up abroad. Right. Uh, let's see, you got an out so we can melt maybe two litres? We can add, yeah, we can add some more firewood if we need to. Sounds, looks like we're going to need to. There we go, two litres will see us through for a little while. Uh, let's add, sorry, let's add some more, uh, what's it to the fire? Let's add some more cedar wood because we've got shitloads of it. Uh, we can boil two litres, in fact, let's melt an extra litre. And then we'll boil three litres, and then we'll cook it like a tin of food. And then we could probably rest for a little bit, if not go back to more stitching and things like that. Uh, we don't really have a way in. We're smashing this one open, lads, because you know, we got shit all else to do. There we go. 38% of the candle was lost. Slamming it against the star forehead to try and get at the peaches. There we go, cooked peaches. Let's eat those now. 200 calories, not much at all. Gonna have to head slam lots of these to get into them. But what can you do? Cook these, use the knife to open it. We'll probably lose less. He is your English teacher. I am his English teacher. There we go. Right. Uh, yeah, lost lost a lot less. In fact, I don't think we lost any. But from using the can, that's fine. Wicked. How long have we got left? Two hours. Let's just keep cooking hot food. So long as we have it. We can have some reshi tea. Not that I should. But I can. A lot of it's like dog food and stuff now. We'll have some dog food. 
no point cooking dog food, is there? It doesn't really improve it. Eat the crackers, you have plenty of water. I'll, I'll eat the crackers afterwards. Now we need to just boil those three litres of water. And then we can melt just sort of excess, really. Having water helps. Nice and warm. We could probably get away with melting another litre of... Another two litres of snow and then boiling that up so we have, like, five litres. Which I'm sure you'd agree. Decent amount. Thank you. Uh, ugh, look. UG, look. Triple six. And let's boil it all out. Fire should start to peter out now. There we go. Starting to lose the flame a little bit. That will start to recede. Take this book with us, and then we'll head back upstairs. We've also lost the light, it would appear. Use this torch. Why not? Got our lantern now, so... use this to scare off wolves as well, our torch, if we need to. They're a little bit more scared of the, the actual fire than a, a flare. Because a flare just it's like artificial, it doesn't doesn't quite click with them what it is. But everyone knows what fire is. Animal. Animal or human. You know what fire is. And somebody waving it around at you at the end of a, on the end of a stick you tend to uh, stay the fuck away. I know I would. Right. This one here on the table. Let's see, did I leave anything in this one? I did. We should probably get asleep though. We can rest we'll rest until morning. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sort that out, don't worry. Right. Place. Let's rest until morning. Nine hours of darkness. Darkness! What's the Osborne? Right, uh let's see, drink that down. Torch is nearly out. And we'll rest for the full nine hours. So we'll rest for ten. That's the big one. Forty kilos, I know. It's like one of our Armour 3 games. I wake up fully rested. Okay, so I apparently it's still dark, just a couple of hours short of a, a couple of hours short of time. Go parched. And then neck a load of water back. Shaving away one little bit at a time. What don't we need? Tools wise, we've got shitloads of flares. I want to keep the flares. Obviously, going to keep the flares. Got the lantern fuel. Got all of that. We're going to drop the old sewing kit. Don't need the sewing kit. Got spare one of those. Don't need the torch anymore. Get rid of the torch. We've got spare lanterns. Whatever to the lanterns. Don't need that. Going to keep this. Going to have that. Don't want that. Leave that here. Loads of extra antiseptic. Don't need it, I'm afraid. Going to keep our Stim 22 painkillers. Doesn't weigh much. Doesn't matter. Water purification tabs is okay. And yes, I was intentionally trying to make that seem like a little song. Uh, right, uh, let's see. What's really weighing us down here? We've got books, matches, matches, books. It all sort of works towards the same end, I suppose. We can get rid of maybe a couple of boxes of these. Not going to use that many. We don't need the cardboard matches. Just saving weight wherever I can. Uh, going to keep that. What save is this, Zodiac? Uh, it's the uh, Hunted by the Bear save. At the lack of a better term. Uh, right. Still 36. What is weighing us down? That's weighing quite a bit, but it's not like loads. We should be able to shed weight in other ways, surely? Petticoat we've got is really heavy. Don't want to harvest it. Let's just get back to repairing. Try. I think it's all that cloth we're carrying, actually. We can get rid of a decent amount of that. We'll repair it one more time. No, in fact, we don't need to repair it one more time. That should be good enough. Is it all this cloth? No, see, that only weighs a little bit. We can drop nine pieces, though, just so we have ten. Drop. It's fine. The lanterns are quite heavy. This one's got more in than that one. This one doesn't weigh quite... Oh, God, no. That sound... That could be a bear song that they've tried to push forward there. I don't know what that was. I'm going to have to go and find out what that is now. I'll keep it paused. Give me a moment. Just while that loads.
All right, we'll see what that was. Thank you very much for the donation, though. It's very generous. Let's see. What was your name, sir? I'm going to wait for it to pop up on stream again. You know what to do. That was his name. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's see what song it was. I, I, know what, I know what song it's going to be. I know exactly what video this is. I don't want... I know what it is. It's the bear song. Strap your... Oh, dear. Here it is. Oh. It's that song. Look, out of obligatory donation, I have to leave it on. I'm sorry for anybody listening. Here we go. It's a new stream favourite. <laughs> There's no escaping it, I'm afraid. Right, uh, we've got the rifle cleaning kit. We don't fucking need that, because we're not going to need to clean the rifle. The rifle should be fine. That's the hope. Right. Uh, what else do we need? I don't know why it's, we're still really fucking heavy. Right, what is, what is weighing us down? I don't know what's weighing us down. Flares, fuel, kerosene, this stuff. The tools, we can get rid of the basic tools, I suppose, and just keep the quality ones. Is it first person only, man, Stan? Yes, it is. No third person or anything like that. Actions. Don't want to refuel. If there's a way to drain the fuel, then fantastic, but there isn't. Right. I wonder if it's all this food we're carrying. Yeah, this uh, this amount of drink is what's really weighing us down. Mm. Well, we'll drink that water, so, you know, that's all in good time, I suppose. Right, well, we should push on then. Not much sense in sticking around. If we can make a move now, why the hell not? Oh, God, stretch. Oh, stretch a bit more. How you doing, Jay Plays? It's your food queue, yeah. Right. We leave via the upper dam. Hopefully, we'll be okay. <laughs> Don't want to move out just yet. <laughs> Don't want it. Do not want it. Oh, that was bad. Oh, man. Fucking hell. I'm going to bring OBS back up. There you go. Right. Um, let's just pass just the time just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, right. We left our sleeping bag just as well, really. <laughs> there we go. Let's pick this back up. Let's take that with us. Pick it up. We left this behind. Oh, how silly. <laughs> how did he get here? Be Bastard. Well, we have been here for quite some time. This is going to be the tricky bit. Right, let's uh, just sleep for an hour. What's up? Hello, hello. It's the bear song, it's drawn him in. Bloody hell. Right, pick it up. I could scare him off, I could shoot him in the arse. The problem is, it's, it's a while between us and the next set of buildings. It is a while. Weather seems to have gotten a little bit worse. Turn it off and it might go away. It doesn't really look like the weather to be moving out in. Minus 21. Yeah. He tracked us here. That arse bandit. We're just going to have to wait out the storm then. Right. That's it. Well, we're going to have to wait out the storm then. We'll grab a couple of tinder plugs while we're waiting for the storm to pass. I don't know how long this storm's going to last. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's going for it. There we go. A couple of tinder plugs. Get some more. Can't really have too many of these. Right. Weather's only going to. Oh. We're going on a bear hunt. Oh, fuck me. No. We're not doing that. We're turning autoplay off, and we're leaving it alone. Okay? Lovely. <laughs> Back to the stream. Right, uh, we need to pass the time. Um, what we'll do, 
we shall craft. Just go to the crafting tab. We'll make some old man... No, back crafting. Old man's beard bandages. Oh, wow, you can actually make tinder plugs from sticks. All this stuff that you're just learning now. It's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's going to take a little while. Do you remember in, in an earlier development of this game when you got too close to bears, they'd flip out and hit Mach 5 while chasing you? Uh, I, I'm afraid I don't, NL Duncan. I don't think I was there for that, that stage of the game. I did kind of follow the game from quite early on. But uh, not that early on, I don't think. How many bandages have I got? I've got that many bandages, but not enough man, not enough old man's beard. Let's get to the window, see if it's quieter. Sounds quieter, but it all fuel. God, that weighs a lot. We'll have to leave it behind. Oh, do we? That's a lot of fuel to just leave. 1.8 liters. It's in a jerry can, for fuck's sake. We can ditch our old lan- yeah, we can ditch this lantern. This one's knackered, but it's holding the most oil. We could probably, yeah, actions... Refill this one. Piss into it. Yep, there you go. Um... Yeah, we'll just have to keep that as it is. No point taking our, the entire world on our back. Oh my god, look at him go! Is he after me? Oh, he's definitely after me. Where is he? Oh yeah. Big blue at 12 o'clock. Let's hide in the dam. Fucking hell. Fill the lantern. The wait for that's usually the jerry can, yeah. That's it. But I've already got lantern fuel. Don't drop the harvested... Don't drop the last and heart and use it to repair the other one. Hmm. Oh, we've already got scrap metal, but you, you do have a point. Right, so, uh, actions... Let's see, look, okay, harvest it. It's going to take an hour to do, but... Oh, J Jesus Christ, we found an anvil. <laughs> found an anvil in our spare time. Right, Har oh wow, we harvested the oil from it as well. Let's repair then. Fantastic. Did did a decent job there. Let's refuel it. Lantern's already full. Brilliant. So, small supply of kerosene. Probably just enough. If I take this, actually... See, that's 35 kilos. We'll, we'll just keep it with us so we can use the lantern a little bit more liberally. Um, well, yeah, we're fucking... We're in trouble. Where's that walking coming from? It sounds like it's up there. Is he trying to find another way in? What's the weather like? Minus nine. It's a good time to move. Let me just step inside the door for a moment, just while I drink. Don't want to get caught out standing right outside safety. Uh, interesting. Well, we're all topped up in that sense. Let's have a granola bar. As mouldy as it might be. And let's try that one more time. Incoming drop bear attack. I know where we need to go, but it's going to take a little while to get there. It's all of these, just rocks, I guess. Is that the bear? I heard something roar then, I heard something bellow. Don't know whether it was just wind or not.
I kind of know my way this way. This route that I'm going down now isn't the most direct route in the world, but it's a route to the Trapper's Homestead. We're going to go in kind of an S shape, with the what's it being at the bottom bottom end, with the Hydra Dam being. At Did you see Big Blue? Let's try and make some headway on him. We're still overburdened so we don't run very quickly. Oh shit! Here we go! Fuck, he's on us. Oh fuck. Right, go. Keep going. Get another one in. It's like I say, this is kind of the way. Ooh! Okay. Right, let's keep going. We're alright. How many we got left? Three rounds. One in the chamber. Three rounds to load. Like I say, this is kind of... I kind of know where we're going now. Like, there's, there's a point... Like, if you imagine the letter S, we're starting at the one end of the S. When we get to the middle point of the S, I'll know where we are. And I'll know where to go across the middle portion of the letter S. But... The top and bottom halves until we get to those three individual points, top, middle, and end. The, it's the bits in between them that I can't really connect the dots. I don't remember. It's been such a long time that we've played in this section of map, I just can't recall. I know that this way here, that the, basically the next point of reference that we're trying to get to is a very large frozen lake. Now, this is a stream, and by basically uh, just logical processing... This stream should connect to that lake. Should. If it does, brilliant. If it doesn't, well, shit. <laughs> Two arrows, then you set him on fire. He's got your number now, Quebec. He fucking does. We've just got to get to the Trapper's Homestead. The problem is, I don't know how to get directly to the Trapper's Homestead. I can only go... There's there's a point that I need to get to as kind of like a reference, and then after that, it's anyone's game. Now, we could kind... Yes. Yes, this is this is the right place. I don't know it perfectly, but we're, we're nearly there. I think we're going to come through the east entrance. It's just through this clearing. Just through that clearing there. Good that there's rabbits here. It means there's no bears. Here's the lake. This is the lake. Here we go. Perfect. Ooh. Big Blue will be coming through the gorge that I was just in. He'll have my scent now. Here it is, the lake. Right. Oh. What? There's a deer there. Brilliant. That means that there's no wolf nearby. Southern access. Okay, not exactly where I thought we'd come out. But not the wrong place either. If I go around here, there should be a camping cabin with a Canadian flag hanging off it. And that is the right way that we need to go. We don't need to stop. We might even be able to make it to the trapper's cabin without resting. We're that close. It's it's not probable, but it's it's it, we can do it. At a push, we can do it. We've got enough flare rounds and we've got enough flares to try and fight off Big Bear. The problem is, this cabin is the next big mainstay between us and the trapper's place. Like that's the next big place. Where's Big Blue? God, he's, he'll be right on my ass. Oh. 
see the weather's good we're actually not getting cold here it's positive one degrees with all of our winter clothing on purchase the holy hand grenade oh, I just gotta hurt the problem is if I stop and rest then big blue gains ground if uh, the pro like I can't easily lose him here like the fact that I'm ahead of him now I should take advantage of that I can't easily lose him otherwise the only way I know now to get a, to get where we need to go is to head left. There's a railway line up here. Is to head left and follow the railway line to the derailment, and then move down the hill past the sort of yeah it's sort of downhill into the forest to our kind of one o'clock, or to, yeah to our one o'clock kind of area, and then that's where we need to be. Deer there means there's no wolf nearby, so I am grateful. Can we see Big Blue out on the lake? He might be trying to head us off. I can't see Big Blue in pursuit. That could be because he's closer than I think. I don't know where he is, but I should definitely try and keep ahead of him. There's the derailment. That's the old derailment. I'm trying to look for this one down here. You see that right at the end there? There's a tunnel with a blockage. That tunnel is where we need to head. We can do it. I have full confidence that we can do this. We don't need to search anyone else. We don't need any more supplies. We just need to kill Big Blue. This is the run. This is the one. I've ever played this game with mods. I didn't know there was mods, Zodiac. I didn't think there was mods for this game. I know it has Steam Workshop support. That house down there. this That's a reference point, that is. Yes. That's, that's kind of the right way. If we move from that house and sort of keep to the right, we hit the Trapper's Cabin. God, we're close. God, we're so close. Same challenge I started earlier this week. Yes, Aizen. Is there, a, there? Yes, there is a multiplayer mod. There's never a multiplayer mod for this. If there is, we're so playing that. I'm gonna get somebody to play that with. Oh my god, there's a multiplayer mod? That's gonna be so cool. I had no idea there was a multiplayer mod. That's wicked. Absolutely wicked. So it should just be through here on the right. The deadfall area. So... This could be the clearing. Is this the clearing? No, it's not the clearing. I think our clearing might be over here on the left. If this is the lake... If this is the little pond area. Yes, yes it is. That means where we need to go is up and on the left. Presence of deer means no hostiles. Wolf. I say that, yeah, and then immediately a wolf shows up. Should just be on the other side of this hill. actually positive three out or well, that's what it feels like despite the snow can't believe we're going to get ahead of big blue i'd play it with you fam no worries ready it'd be cool to get soviet in here and have like me as i uh, like have like a like a the hardcore survivalist and then the total noob it's like what's it it's coming for you oh no big blue dropping donation oh shit this is this our clearing? This is fucking it. There's his house. Oh, get down here. And don't fucking stumble. Thank you, Big Blue. <laughs> is this the challenge I started earlier than Twitch? Yes, Ramin Lee. Yes, it is. Only we're getting close to the end. <laughs> big, big, big blue just put a deposit on his dinner. <laughs> there 
There you go. That's Big Blue's stomach, not mine. Oh man, we're nearly, we've nearly done it. Nearly done it. Found our way back to the trapper's homestead. There's so many deer around here, Jesus. It's trying to tempt me shooting them instead of uh, the bear. If I leave it long enough, the bear will come to me. Then I bring him down like a sack of shit. The trapper's homestead. Don't worry, you'll you'll get your lie down. Deer in there. That's it. We got ahead of Big Blue. We stayed ahead of Big Blue. Shot him in the fucking heart with like a, a flare gun round. But all it did was scare him off. But inside this house, there's a slightly more permanent solution to our bear problem. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully the rifle will bring him down in one or two shots. If it's in here, a laugh of it said, please head back to the Pleasant Valley. Right. Now, when I turn to the right, there should be... Oh. To be continued? You mean I don't get to shoot the bear? Oh my god. Oh my... You can't... You can't do that! You can't do that! I was literally thinking... No! <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, I thought I was gonna get to shoot the bear! Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, that's No Man's Skies type ending that is. Jesus Christ, oh fucking... Gone. Everything. Everything I knew was ruined. But hey, yes, absolutely. The fucking... We, we completed it. Four days, seven hours, six minutes, and we only got that done because of, we, of us stumbling upon the thing by accident. Let's quit to menu. Now, I believe part two might even be out. Is part two out? There you go. Take a look at this, says uh, DJ Reb, or Shreb, or I don't know. The Hunted Part 2 is out. Take the rifle and go and face the old bear. I will take the rifle and I will go and face the old bear, but not in this stream. Thank you very much for everybody coming down. Hope you enjoyed it. That was very close, very tense towards the end there, especially where we had to shoot him with the rifle round. But we've unlocked Part 2 now. This was previously locked, but we have now unlocked it, which means we now get to take the rifle and go and kill Old Bear. I know. Yep. Long Dark 2, Rise of Blue. Yep. I'll check out part two in the next one. But that's it for the moment. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for everybody that donated. You too, Big Blue. Um, and yeah, that's that's essentially it. I want to... Yep. That's that's all. That's scratch the chin. That's all I can think of. Um, so yeah, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it. No, I did. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch you all... What probably won't be tomorrow evening because uh, I'm at work tomorrow, and then in the evening we've got guests around, so it'll likely be Monday sometime that I see you. So yes, thank you very much. Thank you for everyone that followed. Thank you for everyone that donated. And I hope you enjoyed this next session of The Long Dark. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Or, or, or if you're going to hang around, I'd like to pass you on to one of my colleagues, somebody else in the ZF clan. Reddy's right, yes. Reddy's the moderator that makes sure I, I hand out the love. So if you've in, hopefully if you've enjoyed watching me stream today, you'll enjoy one of my friends here who is part of the ZF clan. Obviously, if you don't know who they are, um, just a small clan of gamers, if you like. So I'm going to pass you to, on to somebody, uh, a friend of mine. Uh, let's see. Probably going to pass you on to uh, Smeagol. So yeah, Smeagol's currently playing Dead Space 3 by the looks of things. So if that's your cup of tea, do drop over, tell him I said hi, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Once again, take care, guys.
is taking its sweet time. It is, mate. It is. It's two sheep. It was on one, mate. I do get worried as to what we're charging up. I think it's good. Oh boy! Choo choo! Yes! The internal temperature is rising! And I have more good news! What is it? Come up to the observation booth. I'll explain it all the way. The network